If you're planning to be able to run off-grid on a renewable energy system, then you're going to need to have an energy budget so you understand exactly how much energy you're harvesting from solar, how much energy your batteries can store, and where that energy is being spent. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an energy budget and do a load analysis for your property. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping homes get set up to be able to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course, in most cases, we're doing that with a solar power uh, battery backup system. Now, one of the things that you're gonna need to have when you're planning on being able to run off the grid is what's called an energy budget. And just like with a, a financial budget, an energy budget shows you how much energy you have and where you would like to spend that energy broken down by different circuits or different appliances. So what I'm gonna be doing is walking you through the process of setting up the energy budget, uh, also sometimes known as doing a loads analysis for the property. Now, in the example that we're doing here, this is a 9.8 kilowatt solar system. So here at the bottom of the sheet, we have our solar power information. This example uses 30 325 watt Canadian solar panels. Now, where we're based here in central Virginia, we get about 4.8 hours of sunlight per day. And so based on the solar power and the insulation here at the location, we're looking at a total energy harvest on average of just over 46 kilowatt hours per day. Now this number is important and we'll come back to it in a little bit. Up here at the top of the worksheet is our loads, our, our critical loads listed out appliance by appliance. So in this example, the loads to be backed up with the renewable energy system are the upright refrigerator freezer, a chest freezer, the well pump, a gas water heater, two LED televisions with the accessories, uh, a fireplace blower, 10 light bulbs, a microwave, and then a charger for a laptop and a cell phone. And so what we look at for each individual load on the worksheet, we're looking at what is the power draw measured in watts or kilowatts, how many hours of running time per day are we expecting for that appliance, and then we divide that by a thousand, which gives us the total energy consumption in kilowatt hours or KWH. So again, we need to look at the instantaneous power multiplied by the hours of running time per day, divide by a thousand, and that tells us the kilowatt hour consumption for each appliance each day. Now again, we, we said in this example, we're anticipating a solar energy harvest of 46 kilowatt hours per day. And so what I can then look at is uh, for each appliance of that overall budget of 46 kilowatt hours, how much is being spent per appliance. Now, again, with this worksheet, we're just looking at the critical loads, meaning these are the most essential circuits in the house that are gonna be connected to the battery backup. Okay, so one of the first things that I see here is, uh, and I actually added a column here at the end to show me of the total energy consumed by the critical loads, which in this example is 11 kilowatt hours total, what percentage each appliance contributes to that total. So one of the first things that jumps out at me here is that uh, my two televisions and my refrigerators, just those two things is half of the critical load energy budget. So that's something to, to be mindful of. And then the chest freezer is number three on the list. The chest freezer itself is pulling 17% of the overall energy budget for the critical loads. Uh, and so what this allows you to do is uh, if you're in an environment where energy becomes very scarce, you know, let's say the grid is down and you've been running off your batteries. Let's say it's, it's been overcast weather all week. So your solar panels haven't really been able to keep up to keep power on. Um, and if, if energy is beginning to get scarce, you can look at now by cutting back in certain areas, where can you reclaim more usable energy? So in, in this example here, with the two televisions consuming 27% of the critical load energy budget, I know that I can go ahead and cut those televisions off and that'll get me, if I cut both TVs off, that gets me one more full day being able to run the refrigerator and freezer. 
So that's why having the energy budget is so important because it allows you to see exactly where your energy is being spent. And then also it allows you to see how much energy you can store. So this second section here is our battery reserve calculations. And I actually ran this scenario with three different battery options. The first option is the Tesla Powerwall 2. That battery has 50, operates at 50 volts with 270 amp hours capacity for a total energy reserve of 13 and a half kilowatt hours. And so based on the battery capacity and based on what my critical load draw is, this tells me how many hours I can support these loads on this battery. And so with a single Tesla Powerwall battery, I can support these critical loads for just over 26 hours. And that's, that's pretty reasonable. Uh, in most homes, we wanna make sure that we design with at least 24 hours of runtime if it's running on battery power only. So that way, if power went down and the weather was completely, completely overcast, where you're not gonna have hardly any solar power coming in, at least you know you have 24 hours or more of running time just off what's stored inside the battery. Now I also ran it with two larger battery options using the Outback Energy Cell batteries. Um, one using eight and then one using 12 of the Energy Cell batteries, which is actually what we have uh, installed at our home. And so with those two configurations, you're looking at total energy storage of 19.6 or 29.4 kilowatt hours respectively, which translates to a running time of either 30 hours or 46 hours. Uh, and that's just off of energy that's stored in the battery, meaning it's not assuming any additional sunlight coming in. So folks, this has been a video about how to set up an energy budget. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll put a link down in the description so that uh, if you wanna uh, grab this worksheet, worksheet uh, you can kind of uh, download it and use it as a template for your project. And of course, if you need help designing a system or doing the loads analysis for your property, feel free to reach out to us. You can hit us on the website or on the social media link there on the bottom, and we'd be happy to help you do the analysis for your property and uh, even get you connected with a, uh, a licensed installer in your area. Well, as always, folks, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you find that the information here is valuable, please make sure you click on that like button and uh, click on the subscribe button. And more importantly, be sure to share this information with others that you think can benefit from it. I'm Joe Ordia, as always, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.